Good morning. Or is it? After recording coffee with Pastor, I turned on the news to try to remain abreast of world events. And over the last several weeks, months, we've been looking at our economy, we've been looking at the war of Ukraine, we've been looking at China, we've been looking at the alliances that seem to be forming, certainly. But I believe there was an event that happened this morning. And if you've been on the news, you know what I'm talking about. That very possibly eclipses in importance all of those other events. And that was this morning, Hamas sent a barrage of missiles into southern Israel. And they are calling to this morning Israel's 9-11. Already. It is confirmed, and this was just the last report I heard, a hundred Israeli civilians are dead, 800 are wounded, many if not most of them seriously if not critically wounded. Hostages taken, people, of course they're the first reaction we have when we talk about Israel. What's the prophetic significance? I'll be perfectly upfront with you. I don't know. That is not my intent. My intent is to share with you my heart concerning the attack on Israel this morning. Put it simply, I want to go on record as a Christian as a pastor, that Israel, I'm behind you. I believe Israel has a right to defend herself. I believe that Israel has a right to defend her citizens and her borders. Israel, I am, count me for one, entirely behind you. Now, having said that, I'm not one who believes that everything that Israel does is right. Many things Israel does politically, socially, that I cannot agree with. But that does not, that does not take away from my love for Israelis and for the Jewish people. And I believe as Christians, we owe the Jewish people our support, and our loyalty. I still believe in the principle that God gave to Abram. In fact, it's a promise God gave to Abram, but it remains true today. God told Abram concerning his, his descendants, I will bless them that bless thee, I will curse them that curse thee. I believe that God would have his people pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And beloved, Israel throughout her history, Jews throughout all history, have faced the hatred of all mankind. Anti-Semitism is sprinkled throughout history going all the way back to Genesis, Exodus, all the way into our current day. And it seems like it's rearing its ugly head yet again. To all the Jews out there, let me just say this. I love you. I want to be your friend. Christian, I think we do owe it to Israel. We owe it to our God to love his people and to support her. So when you watch the news and you hear different ones supporting and defending the actions of the Palestinians, as you watch the film concerning the parliament building in Iran where they said, death to Israel this morning after the bombing. 
lift up your voice in prayer for Israel and for the Jewish people. Thank you for hearing me. And again, let me just say this, if there are any Jews out there listening to me, our hearts are with you. Israel, our hearts are with you. God bless you.